I started my business the minute I came to New York, which was in 1970. 74 is when I created the wrap dress, so... You're celebrating a big landmark this year. The wrap dress is this year 40. I created this dress uh, in my early 20s, and I came with this little dress, and, 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 and people didn't pay very much attention, except Diana Vreeland. She saw, I mean, even when she saw me, I hadn't even, she saw it immediately and she said, yes, this is genius. <laughs> and anyway, and, but the truth is, it made me famous, it made me independent, it made me live an American dream. I never, I always took it for granted. The little dress also came at a moment of movement of the women, emancipation of the women. So that dress is now in, in sociology books. Then I sold the company, it's thanks to the wrap dress that I started again, because I saw the young hip girls wearing mm. it again and buying it in the vintage shops. I got married, I had a very social life, I had two kids, I left my husband, I had lots of boyfriends, <laughs> I had lots of different lives, I sold my business, I started my business again, I have four grandchildren. What do you think is it that women really want to wear right now? I think right now uh, everything is becoming more casual, no? There are certain decades I see the young designer, they still love the 70s. The 70s, I think, is forever a source of inspiration, just like the 30s were a source of inspiration. And yet the 30s were sad decades, they were the decades of the war. But it's, it's, it's that easiness that happened in fashion, in furniture, in architecture. There are just some decades that will always be a source of inspiration. So I am a little bit stuck always on the 70s because I like that kind of um, sophisticated, easiness, nonchalance. And how important is glamour? Glamour is key. Glamour is shine. Glamour is light. Glamour is, but glamour is not just jewelry or gold. Glamour is space. Glamour is having the luxury to be able to do what you want. Glamour is so many things. I'm going to take you back to the 70s again because you also think of that amazing Andy Warhol picture when you think DVF. Yes, no, he used to do, that's how he did the, the, the portraits. He would take your Polaroid. And he was in my apartment, but he needed, and he wanted to do it, but he needed the white walls. And I guess I also, I, I, the whole thing was printed, so the only <laughs> white wall we found was in the kitchen. It was a very small wall, which is why I did, did like that with my, my arm. Okay. 